When I was younger, I grew up in China. I don't think we could imagine that we could run for office. So we've got 63 houses to go. Whoa. From my own experience, I you know, won a, a lot of the reason to our success was due to uh, block walking. You know, block walking is very important because um, it's one-on-one. -on -one. If you get to meet the people, you know, if they open the door, um, you get the chance to talk to them and that makes a much stronger impression uh, to the voter. When I was a kid, the thing that always stuck in my mind that even, you know, I can hear that voice to this day was a young Hispanic kid who like was, was one of my bullies and he would always tell me to go back to where I came from. Take me to the country, nothing but skies and pine. Follow me to the country where we can When we first moved here, we lived in Odessa, Texas. And if you don't know Odessa, that is a weird place to go coming from like the third largest city in China to a town of 20,000 people. Where literally, there were three other Asian families and we all knew each other. I don't think our story coming to the United States is really all that different from any other uh, Asian Americans. Um, it was a struggle. When I was little, you know, I got made fun of because, you know, I couldn't pronounce TH, that I would say thing instead of thing. And it took me years to correct that. And, you know, it was something that the other kids uh, harassed me about. Um, and it, it, was, it was something that I keep as a memory of why I help other people and why I uh, spend so much time defending uh, other immigrant populations, refugees, and people who have sort of you know, been stepped on and people who don't have a voice. Because you know, I, I was bullied all throughout my childhood. Um, you know, at times because I was Asian, be the only Asian kid around, and the other times because I was the, the you know, the, the short skinny kid that was kind of, uh, you know, wimpy and weak. And so when I got older, when I became an adult, um, I made it my mission to look after other people, look after other people who, who, who get stepped on, who get bullied themselves. when we had our campaign, you know, our volunteer walked like um, tens of thousands of doors. That's how we won because, yeah, we had, they call us the Lily's Army, Lily's Army, <laughs> because we had about more than 100 volunteers who walk. After 2016, you know, end of 2016, um, a lot of Chinese Americans feel like we really need to um, get involved so that our values can be reflected. And uh, so that's how, you know, people are looking for candidates. Um, very few people, almost nobody wanted to run because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of sacrifice. So I said, maybe I can try. And they, they checked on me. They feel like, wow, great. So now we go to Okno. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, okay, get on board. I think absolutely there are going to be more and more Asian Americans uh, running for office in Texas. Uh, 2018 was the high point. Uh, we had 14 Asian Americans run for office 
in the greater Houston area, two thirds of whom won. And that is phenomenal. And they're all, all Democrats. I tell people all the time is Texas, in terms of the Asian American population, is where California was uh, about 30 years ago. This state is going to be an Asian American political powerhouse. By the nature of my district, I am in very close contact with not just the Chinese, but with the Mexican consulate, with the Canadian consulate, with the, uh, you know, with the consulate from all over the world, because their people live in my district. Their people are here as refugees. Their people are here as um, HB1 or EB5 or whatever it is. Their people are here in my district and they live and work here. And when they have problems, they come to me. And when they have problems, I reach out to the consulates and talk to the consulates and say, hey, what, you know, this is what they need. Can you help them with this? That's part of my job. I left China, you know, very early on. I don't have any, you know, connection with CCP, no. I was also endorsed by the governor Abbott. I don't know whether you know that or not. <laughs> you know, it's all from a lot of, uh, um, Asian Americans as well, as well as local, whoever, you know, lives in Plano. But I do have a lot of Asian American supporters because they want to see uh, Asian Americans running for office. <laughs> In a, in a lot of my speeches, I say, if you're interested in running for office, come find me. And sometimes a lot of uh, Asian American community members will actually say, hey, I know a kid, I know somebody who I think will be really good. Let me make sure that they get your number to call you. And sometimes they just see you come, they are inside, they see you from the blinds, but they don't open the door, but it's still, it's okay. It is a participation of the democracy process. You have to get used to it. Have you had good response? Nobody's been mean and ugly, have they? Oh, uh, well, they'll say no or something. Sometimes people are polite, even if they don't like your candidate, they'll just deny you, but they wouldn't say something bad. But occasionally they'll yank on you. That's possible too, so it's fine. <laughs> you know, it's the greatness of America democracy, really. In China, you don't do this. <laughs> America is not a perfect country, but it's the best country in the world. Just look at how many people want to come here. You know, all the children of the high officials, you know, in China, they, they put their children, their children come to America. So that tells you something. I would like to have a Trump sign. Yeah. A Trump okay. sign. Yeah. Thank you. God bless. God yeah. bless America. Yeah. yeah. Thank yes. you for doing this. I mean, yes. This oh, I'm, my name is Lily Bao. I serve you on Plano City Council. Oh. Thank you.